Okay, guys and girls, I'm going to shoot a quick video of this 60 Ford for some people. Um, and I'm going to shoot it cold start. My kid's been driving this every day, so there's bugs smashed all over the windshield. The thing's filthy because he's been driving it to work, you know, 70 miles round trip every day and going to the gym after work. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how it cold starts again, and then I'm going to try to show a particular person some body work in the rear. Um, and somebody asked me about the bottom of the bed, what it was in, sh what kind of shape it's in under that bed liner, and I did not know. I looked underneath there, and it's actually in better shape than I expected it to be. Um, so generally, I start this thing, um, and I pump it twice. So I usually pump it twice, and then start it. Like I said, my kid's been. Oh, there's the radio. If anybody wants to see it before. Anyways, make sure it's turned down. So pump it twice. No, oh, of course. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, there's your morning cold start. Uh, like I said, I'm going to back this thing out and I'm going to use a magnet. Um, like I said, there's the, the gas gauge just kind of flutters around like that. Oil pressure, amp, temperature, um, wipers. I rain X the windshield in these things. The wipers aren't the greatest anyways. Um, something here like I said I'm, I'm gonna so this is a light the lights pretty heavy the magnets pretty small this is a refrigerator magnet so I'm gonna show he was asking about this this primer over here is what he was asking about and if you look the refrigerator magnet sticks to it until you get down here Till you get down to the bottom then it drops off but the light which is a heavy magnet will sit there so yes there's some bondo there that's i don't believe that's why it's primered i believe it's primered because the patina was starting the rust surface rust was starting to come through so they primered it this magnet you know it, it sticks it don't stick right there but it sticks right there and it sticks right there you know so yeah there's there's some bondo back here um you can see it, but it was spread to smooth out whatever. It doesn't stick right there, sticks right there. So, you know, to answer the question, and I said that in the first video, I know there's been some Bondo across the lower extremities of this truck. Um, you know, it's a 1960. So, um, like I explained, it, 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 I've had uh, several people, which I don't understand if they're not comprehending the first video. I try to be as honest as I can. I said, if you want, you know, if you want to restore a truck, you can probably find a better body to start with. The problem is it's going to have a stock motor, a, a six cylinder, drum brakes all the way around. It's not going to be subframed. You're not going to, it, it's not going to be lowered. You know, it, it's not going to sit like this. So you have to decide what you want. Do you want a patinaed old truck or do you want to build a show truck? So this is, this could be a show truck. You can buy every panel for this truck, I believe. You know, and, and anybody can make anything a show truck. So, yes, you could if you wanted to do all the body work, but that's not why I bought the truck. It's not what I do with the truck. Like I said, this, this truck hasn't been washed in probably two solid weeks. The, the hubcaps are filthy. Like I said, there's bugs. Look how dirty the hubcaps are. You see where I smudge it. There's bugs all over this thing. Look at the bugs up there. My kid's been, like I said, he drives this thing. He's been driving it 70 miles a day. That does not make it perfect. So don't act like, you know, I'm saying that this thing is perfect because no old car is at any price range. And I've been kind of covering that a lot. But it, my 18-year-old kid can drive it to work every day. And it gets him there. Um, 
So I'm gonna see, I'm not crawling under this thing this morning, but I'm gonna try to shoot what this bed, you can see up underneath there, what that bed looks like under that bed liner. I, I don't think the bed was all rotten. I think they put the bed liner on there. I'm not real sure why they did it, but, uh, but they did it. So anyways, all right. choke works properly um, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go ahead and run it down the road real quick because it's got a shift kit in it so like if you just take off real slow it, it doesn't want to shift unless you're giving it a little throttle um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it going down the road um, Pay attention if you can hear it. So you got to give it a little throttle. And it shifts real nice and firm. But then you got to kind of stay into it. And there's third. So um, anyways, and it's still, it's not fully warmed up yet. Um, Anyways, the speedometer's off. You're actually going slightly faster than uh, than it says you are. So, um, anyways, okay, there you go. Morning cold start. Magnet on the on the Bondo. 